Once a shining light in the world of children's television and entertainment, Nickelodeon now seems to be finding itself in the midst of a major dilemma. Things have gotten worse after some shocking information came to light about Sam Puckett, a character from the network. Drake Bell, once hailed as a child star, is now shedding light on a profoundly personal and weighty matter. The painful experience he went through when he was only 15 years old. He bravely tells his story in an upcoming TV series called Quiet Onset, The Dark Side of Kids TV. The highly anticipated premiere of the show is scheduled for March 17th and 18th. It is being produced by Maxine Productions and Sony Pictures Television with the support of Business Insider. Quiet Onset explores the harmful impact of children's TV shows, particularly those produced by Dan Schneider in the late 90s and early 2000s, under the direction of Mary Robertson and Emma Schwartz. This documentary series seeks to reveal the unsettling realities that lie beneath the surface of these widely watched programs. Through exclusive interviews with former child stars and crew members who were involved in Schneider's series Quiet on Set, we bring to light the untold stories of individuals who are finally sharing their experiences publicly. This initiative offers an insightful look into their personal stories, spurred by an investigative piece by Business Insider's Kate Taylor in August 2022. Taylor's report shed light on the alleged toxic work environment on set, paving the way for the development of Quiet On Set. This investigation gained further traction after Jeanette McCurdy shared her own troubling experiences at Nickelodeon in her best-selling memoir, I'm Glad My Mom Died. McCurdy, known for her role as the tough yet lovable Sam Puckett on iCarly and its spin-off Sam and Cat, received widespread acclaim and garnered a dedicated fan base, playing a key role in the success of iCarly as one of Nickelodeon's flagship shows. Beyond her iconic role, McCurdy has showcased her talent in various projects and entered the world of podcasting with her show, Empty Inside. Her transition to roles behind the camera as a writer and director signifies a notable shift in her career. Despite not winning major acting awards, her move into creative positions has been praised by industry experts, showcasing her versatile talents and earning her respect. Her memoir, chronicling the struggles of child fame and a complex relationship with her mother, forms a crucial part of her narrative, sparking discussions on the mental health of child actors. McCurdy's candid memoir provides a raw look into her life, highlighting her resilience and diverse skills beyond acting. In her writing, she exposes a creator for emotionally abusive and manipulative behavior, including pressuring her into underage drinking, aggressive actions during a kissing scene, and inappropriate demands during wardrobe sessions. These revelations expose the grim realities of her early career. The memoir also discusses the unequal treatment facied at Nickelodeon, especially when compared to her Sam and Cat co-star, Ariana Grande. McCurdy spills the tea on how the network put the brakes on her pursuing other gigs, a restriction that Grande didn't face, putting a major strain on McCurdy's mental health and dreams. She drops a bombshell by revealing that her acting career wasn't driven by her own dreams, but rather by her mom, Deborah. This decision was made early on, with McCurdy hitting auditions from the tender age of six, all under her mom's watchful eye, who showed some serious manipulation skills whenever her daughter faced rejection. Rejection. Talk about adding another layer to McCurdy's already wild ride in the biz. But wait, there's more. McCurdy dives into the murky waters of working under Dan Schneider and the broader challenges within Nickelodeon. Her candid retelling of these experiences sparks a bigger conversation about the deep-rooted issues within Hollywood, especially when it comes to young actors. Through her memoir and public discussions, McCurdy isn't just airing her own laundry. She's shining a spotlight on the need for some serious shakeups within the industry. The legacy of Dan Schneider, once hailed as the king of Nickelodeon's golden era, is now under a magnifying glass, thanks to allegations ranging from abuse to sexism and racism, not to mention inappropriate interactions with underage talent. These bombshell accusations have sparked a full-blown investigation into his tenure at Nickelodeon through the lens of the eye-opening docu-series Quiet on Set, 
The Dark Side of Kids TV, set to uncover the shady side of children's television production. While all eyes might be on Drake Bell, the docuseries promises to pull back the curtain on Schneider's controversial practices, proving that the problematic behavior wasn't limited to just one or two cases within the Nickelodeon bubble. Despite the rose-tinted nostalgia surrounding shows like The Amanda Show, Zoe 101, and Victorious, the shocking revelation of a toxic culture behind the scenes has led to a major rethink of the content produced under Schneider's watchful eye. Business Insider's 2022 investigation brought first-hand accounts from those who were in the trenches with Schneider, painting a grim picture of what was really going on behind closed doors. Describing an environment shrouded in darkness, where discomfort and impropriety were ever-present, allegations paint a grim portrait of gender discrimination, the premature sexualization of young talent, and an overarching atmosphere of hostility and degradation. Schneider's exit from Nickelodeon in 2018 marked the end of an era, but did little to assuage mounting concerns about his conduct and the lasting impact of his creative choices on vulnerable child actors. Despite Nickelodeon executives staunchly defending Schneider's work, claiming rigorous oversight, the allegations cast a sinister shadow over his illustrious career and the beloved series he brought to life. Schneider's undeniable influence on children's television, propelling stars like Amanda Bynes and Ariana Grande to stardom, now stands juxtaposed against a backdrop of unsettling revelations. As the layers of nostalgia are peeled back, discomfort replaces fond memories, unveiling the unsettling truths that lurked behind the scenes of these once-cherished productions. This dive into the murky depths of children's TV aims not only to hold individuals accountable, but also to foster a deeper understanding of the environments in which these cultural milestones were crafted. The unfolding narratives surrounding Nickelodeon's backstage culture paint a troubling panorama that extends far beyond isolated incidents. Alexa Nicholas's departure from Zoe 101, after just two seasons, where she portrayed Nicole Bristow, unveils the harrowing realities young actors often face. Her chilling accounts of the set being a nightmare, echoed by a seasoned writer labeling it as a suffocating, repugnant, and domineering environment, paint a disturbing picture of what lurked behind the scenes of Nickelodeon's cherished productions. Daniela Monet, known for her stint in Victorious, voiced concerns about inappropriate costumes and overly intimate content, exposing a systemic issue of exploitation and mistreatment of young talent. These personal testimonies, coupled with damning allegations against Dan Schneider for his predatory behavior and fostering a toxic workplace culture, cast a dark shadow over the network's working conditions. Despite the outcry and the looming documentary shedding light on these atrocities, a spokesperson for Dan Schneider rushes to his defense, painting him as a beacon of support and understanding for child actors. They argue that Schneider empathized with the pressures these young stars faced, acting as their unwavering advocate in a cutthroat industry. However, the reality remains bleak. Many child actors, burdened with the responsibility of supporting their families, endure unimaginable stress under the glare of the spotlight, all while navigating the tumultuous journey of growing up. Amidst the glittering facade of Nickelodeon's vibrant world, a sinister undercurrent brood, entangling multiple individuals in its dark web. Bell's involvement with The Amanda Show and later Drake and Josh placed him at the center of this troubling narrative, unveiling the layers of abuse and misconduct that have marred the network's reputation, despite its purported adherence to stringent policies. Peak, once a familiar face among Nickelodeon stars, faced serious legal trouble when he was arrested in August 2003 on 11 charges linked to accusations of inappropriate behavior with a minor. In May 2004, Peak pleaded no contest to engaging in inappropriate conduct with a minor and was sentenced to prison, casting a pall over the network's image. Drake Bell's hidden involvement as the victim in that case added a layer of tragedy to the situation. The revelation of Drake Bell's own mistreatment during his early years as a child actor is deeply saddening, 
casting a shadow over Bell's past, especially considering the controversies he has faced. Drake Bell, known for his role in Drake and Josh, received a sentence for child endangerment charges, tarnishing his once spotless reputation and underscoring the challenges faced by child stars in the entertainment industry. Three years prior, Jared Drake Bell, then 35, admitted guilt to charges of attempted child endangerment and disseminating harmful material to minors. Addressing the court via Zoom, Bell expressed remorse for his actions, acknowledging the harm caused to the victim. His attorney noted the unique burden faced by celebrities like Bell due to their status in society. Amidst the tangled web of controversies, a harsh reality emerged. A greater penalty paid by Mr. Bell, one that others would not face due to his position within the industry. Following his acceptance of a plea deal, Bell received his sentence in July 2021, two years of probation and 200 hours of community service. In a 2021 Instagram video, he vehemently denied the allegations against him, labeling them as entirely false and wrong. Despite his denial, he agreed to the plea deal for a swift resolution, albeit acknowledging his behavior as improper. Bell contended that he was unaware of the girl's age, insisting that their interactions were solely through text messages, devoid of any physical contact. However, this was not the first brush with controversy for Bell. In 2020, he found himself entangled in another scandal, denying allegations of verbal and physical abuse made by his ex-girlfriend, Melissa. While acknowledging their tumultuous relationship, he vehemently denied the accusations, vowing to pursue legal action against the false claims. In response to Lingefeldt's allegations, Bell stated that she had sought financial assistance from him during a difficult period the previous year. He expressed disbelief at her motives, questioning if her behavior was a misguided quest for attention or financial gain. However, the allegations took a toll on Bell's reputation, further complicating his already tumultuous journey. The latest controversy, as bizarre as it may seem, unfolded in April of the previous year, when Bell was initially reported as missing and endangered by the Daytona Beach Police Department. While he was eventually found safe and in contact with law enforcement officials, the incident added yet another layer of scrutiny to his troubled past. Bell, in his characteristic manner, addressed the situation on social media with humor, perhaps as a coping mechanism amidst the chaos. Understanding the details of Drake's childhood experiences at Nickelodeon, which likely represent just a fraction of a much larger issue, offers some context for his later actions. Despite his struggles, the network's failure to provide adequate support and protection for its young stars underscores the systemic issues within the entertainment industry. This narrative serves as a vivid illustration of the adage, hurt people hurt people, albeit in no way excusing any harmful behaviors or misdeeds. It sheds light on a distressing truth, the realization that there are many more victims out there extending beyond Drake Bell and not confined solely to Nickelodeon. Recently resurfaced footage on social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter, has drawn considerable attention for its content, showcasing a young Leonardo DiCaprio in the company of Brian Peck. This footage, capturing moments from the early days of DiCaprio's career, has ignited a wave of reactions among viewers and fans of the acclaimed actor. In the recently resurfaced footage on X, a young Leonardo DiCaprio is seen engaging in a playful yet provocative manner with Brian Peek. DiCaprio's casual interactions with Peek, though seemingly innocent, take a more unsettling turn as Peek makes suggestive remarks about DiCaprio's physique. This video alone raises eyebrows, but its implications deepen with the recent allegations brought to light by Drake Bell, casting a shadow over Brian Peek's past. He finds himself under renewed scrutiny due to these developments, with the juxtaposition of DiCaprio's innocent camaraderie with the troubling undertones highlighted by Bell's accusations. The concerns primarily stem from the belief that Leonardo DiCaprio, at such an early stage in his career and life, might not have been fully aware of the implications or potential issues surrounding his interactions with Peek. 
This realization invites a complex reassessment of the interactions captured in the video, further complicating the public's perception of the events surrounding Peake's conviction. Fans have voiced their apprehensions, suggesting that DiCaprio's youth and inexperience at the time could have left him vulnerable or unaware of the context in which these interactions were occurring. This revival of the video on social media has not only prompted a real evaluation of past events, but has also stirred a broader conversation about the experiences of young actors in the entertainment industry. As discussions unfold, the primary sentiment among the audience is one of concern for the well-being and protection of young talents, underscored by a retrospective worry for DiCaprio during his early years in Hollywood. It is hoped that through documentaries such as Quiet on Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV, and the voices of victims like Jeanette McCurdy coming forward, we can strive towards creating a future that is safer, more secure, and more trustworthy. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you in the next one. Till then, take care.